Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm gonna share you a few techniques in Photoshop that can enhance your designing skills. So if you love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe and there are a lot to cover. So grab your computer and let's get started. all right so here we're in photoshop and very first thing let's create an artboard and for that i'm going to press ctrl and n and the same thing let's go for a 4 by 5 resolution to 300 color mode to rgb and let's keep the bitrate at 8 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create right after that let's drag and drop this main player image right over here let's convert it as a smart object Control t let's make it a smaller and let's like so and let's drag and drop another uh, image so let's see where we go let's drag and drop this image right over here let's keep it under this layer let's convert it as a smart object Control t let's make it smaller just like so and let's do some color adjustment so select this layer go to filter and let's go to camera raw filter and from go to let's go to basic tab let's uh, drop down the highlights let's increase the shadow a little bit let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture and uh, let's go on detail tab let's increase color noise reduction and noise reduction and let's add some sharpening go to color mixer and let's increase the saturation for a uh, red and let's drop down the luminance for red a little bit yep just like so and let's go to saturation tab again and let's drop down the saturation for yellow and let's drop down the orange a little bit yep just like so and let's click on ok this looks pretty good to me and then let's drag and drop uh, this PNG right over here and let's uh, add some rotation Control T and let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it just like so let's change uh, the color for this PNG so select this layer press Control and U to get the hue and saturation and for the saturation let's increase the saturation a little bit and let's change the hue more toward red I think this looks pretty good to me let's drop down the lightness just like so yeah let's keep it on somewhere around here and maybe some more yep just like that and let's increase let's make a copy Control J Control T Let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it under this player image just around here and let's make a one more copy Control J Control T let's make it a smaller and let's keep it right around here and let's make another copy Control J Control T let's see let's add maybe somewhere over here over here just like so and let's add a text so go over here click right over here and let's see change it to one control T let's make it bigger and let's change the font uh, to let's see let's go for yeah let's go for this font and control T let's make it bigger like that and let's keep it let's see let's keep it under this text maybe let's keep it all the way to the bottom yeah yeah let's keep it right around here 
and let's add a gradient overlay for this text and for the gradient i'm going for a lighter color lighter red and a darker red so i think this looks pretty good to me and then let's click and okay let's make it a little bigger yep just like so maybe let's add a little rotation and uh, let's make a copy for this background control j and let's keep it above this text layer and select this layer go to select select subject and let's create a layer max so this is what we got and then let's drag and drop this texture uh, png right over here let's keep it just above this text layer so let's see yep and let's, let's right click create clipping max Control t let's add some rotation and let's change the blending mode for this gradient overlay to screen and Control t Control t let's keep it just like so and then again let's drag and drop this texture right over here let's keep it all the way to the top Control t let's add a rotation let's make it a little bigger and let's change the blending mode to screen and let's drop down the opacity a little bit somewhere around here and let's add a color lookup to give a final touch so go over here click on load and i'm going for mood touch so select this one and click on load so this is what we got and then let's add a curve on very top let's add some veneering so let's drop down just like so and let's create a layer max go to brush and let's go for a general soft brush let's go for a black color and let's here is some of these parts just like so and then let's create a one more layer on top let's go for a white color and let's add some highlights let's click on click on soft light or let's click on overlay and let's drop down the opacity a little bit here we go and let's add some text again and let's change the font to this one let's change the color to kind of similar darker color Control t let's make it bigger let's add some rotation Yep, let's change let's keep it under this texture just like so and let's add some more text right around here and let's drag and drop uh, this PNG right over here Control T let's uh, make it a little smaller and let's change the color overlay to white and let's see yep around here and let's merge everything Control shift alt and e let's create a solid and let's give it a kind of darker color now i like to add some veneering so click on layer max go to press and then let's fill this layer max with black color go to brush again and let's see let's go for this brush and let's go for white color and let's reveal some of these parts back just like so and let's remove a few parts from here from here and again let's get those parts back here we go and that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye bye